I grew up in an era where the hot hatch was king of the road. In fact, it's 30 years since I bought my XR3i Ford Escort, and I still have fond memories of it. And driving the new Ford Fiesta ST have revived those memories and really made me hanker after a hot hatch again. Although I don't know if my body can stand up to the rigours of the firm suspension. The Fiesta ST just looks brilliant the way it hunkers down on the road. And with its muscular styling it's more a case of squat hatchback than hot hatchback. Under the bonnet is a 182 PS 1.6 litre turbo petrol engine. It's capable of 0-62 in 6.9 seconds and a top speed of 139 miles an hour. But what makes it so good is its flexibility. And it's no slouch either. Once you're rolling, you just put your foot down and away it goes. And not only does it look good, but it sounds fantastic. Listen. And it also handles extremely well, as you'd expect of a sporting Ford. They've got a rich heritage for it. It corners as though it's on rails and you just brush the steering to get the response you want. It really is superb and grippy. The downside is a really firm ride with that sports suspension feeling every little bump and lump and it tends to transmit itself through the seat as well. At first the ride can seem a little bit choppy as well on poor roads but you start to get used to it after a couple of days. The Fiesta ST also gets uprated brakes, so it stops as well as it goes. It's only available as a three-door, but there's good legroom in the back once you've got in. The front doors are long and open wide, but those chunky Recaro seats make getting in and out a little bit trickier. It's also got a decent boot. It's deep, well-shaped, 290 litres. Lay those 60-40 rear seat backs down and it rises to 974 litres, although they don't go completely flat and there's a little step up from the floor. Nice clear fascia, straight out of the Fiesta, so it's easy to find its way around, but some of the plastics are a bit hard. You get the Recaro seats, which Ford is... Uh, known for on its sporty models. They nip and tuck really well, but I'd like a little bit more under thigh support on the front here. This ST3 flagship model gets cruise control, electronic climate control, Sony DAB radio with satellite navigation, part leather seats, power fold mirrors. It's a really good specification.